Hey guys, it's Sam and this is Top 5 Wednesday. If you are new to Top 5 Wednesday, I will leave a link to the Goodreads group down below for topics and such. This week's topic is inaccurate book covers. So these are either covers that are beautiful, but we don't like what's inside, or they don't reflect what's inside, or they're really ugly and they don't reflect what's inside. Number five is Stray by Rachel Vincent. This is the first book in the Shifter series. I'm actually talking about this series a lot in Top 5 Wednesdays this month, which is really funny. But this first book I loved in the series, and it's a urban fantasy series, which on one hand, this does kind of go with the urban fantasy genre. Urban fantasy books are notorious for having like really horrible or cheesy covers, and I think this one is cheesy. Like it just doesn't reflect how good this first book is, and even what it's about. Like it's about werecats, and it's just it's just really good. I love this first book. Like I, it's it's really good, and just this looks just cheesy and like over sexualized, and it's very dated because she has like the like belly top thing going on, like quote unquote tramp stamp area, which I don't approve of that kind of term, but it's the one that I'm gonna use because it's so familiar with everybody. It just and like what is the, the it's just so cheesy. Like her jeans. And like the the like leopard print, which I guess kind of goes to like the werecat thing, but like not really. I just I don't think this reflects the series at all. It does in a way because like I said, urban fantasy and having really cheesy covers go hand in hand. At the same time, like no no. Number four is the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armand Trout. These covers are ridiculous. I mean, her covers in general are really bad. And not that the books are like necessarily award-winning works of art or anything like that, but they still are fun good books and I guess that re this reflects like that they're kind of fun but like sparkly like this dude who's like hanging upside down and like half the girl's face which the other bind up has a girl's face but doesn't match her face so it's not even like that matches it's just ridiculous it's ridiculous and the first covers are really cheesy like romance looking covers too and then these really aren't any better and I kind of love them for being ridiculous but at the same time like this is a paranormal romance it's with aliens and stuff and I don't think this reflects that at all like you would walk past this and be like what I mean I guess if you're trying to appeal to like the early twilight kind of phase but these came out after that I don't really know the marketing on this and how that worked out like it's just it's really cheesy like I, I picked this up at a book festival when I actually got this and I was like uh, it's, it's good and I'm not ashamed to like have it but like this is ridiculous like it was glittering off my face it's crazy they're ridiculous. Number three is Atlantia by Ali Condi, and this is a standalone, and from the cover, the cover I think is beautiful. I love this cover. The cover makes me think mermaid. Does it not, does this not feel like Little Mermaid to you, right? And even the synopsis makes it seem like it's gonna be like mermaids, which I am always down for a mermaid book. What it really is, is underwater civilizations that are like dystopian, so it's like an underwater like bubble thing. It's dumb. I did, I did not like this book at all either. And I'm so mad because this cover and the synopsis is like, ooh, mermaids, yes! And it's not. Like, th this doesn't say dystopian! This is mermaids! Come on! Number two I actually do not own, and as the new covers of the Winners Trilogy by Mary Rutkowski, I still have the old covers because the old covers are accurate. Many of you will remember when the new covers got announced that there was uproar on Twitter from myself included. I know that my tweet got a lot of retweets. So these covers are so inaccurate. They're so bad. Like the original covers are beautiful and wonderful and it's Kestrel in a dress with a small dagger because the whole point of the series is that Kestrel is not a fighter warrior at all and that she uses her mind to do things and like uses her wit and her intellect and stuff. That's the whole point. These covers are Throne of Glass ripoffs that are horrible. I hate them. Like, they'd be fine if the series was about a badass who's a fighter. Like, she's a fighter in a intellectual sense. And these look like she's whipping out some, like, daggers and, like, fighting people, hand-to-hand -hand combat. No. No. That's inaccurate. And I get that the covers are trying to say, like, this is about action and these books are action-y too and they're not just about, like, romance. And they're not. You know, they're very action-based books, but not with, like, the main character being the violent and aggressive one. Like, why? 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 I'm still so mad about these. Like, yes, I'm glad that they kept the hardcovers for us so that we could have their matching covers, and I'm very grateful. But at the same time, like, why did you do this? Like, and I feel like if somebody picks it up, and as a marketing thing, if someone picks it up, and they're like, ooh, this is gonna be like an assassin girl, and it's not, they're gonna be like, oh, what the heck? I didn't sign up for this. It's just, it's just bad. I don't like it. I'm mad. No, no, no. And number one is a series that I'm forever mad about, and that is the Ruby Red Trilogy by Kristen Gear. I love these covers especially. This is Ruby Red. 
this is sapphire blue, and this is emerald green. They are gorgeous, these hardcovers. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I thought these were going to be amazing. It's a time travel series. It is a series that has been translated because it was originally published in German. And I've heard from German readers that they really love it and that's really good. So I think it was a translation issue, honestly. But I have a lot of problems with this series. Like, oh god, I hate it. It's time travel, but there's a lot of insta-love. There is, it is insta-love. And the main character is really annoying and the love interest is really annoying. And a lot of things happen at the end that aren't wrapped up, like, at all. And I just have a lot of problems with it. So these books are gorgeous. Like, look at, they're beautiful. And what's inside is not. I've honestly kept these books on my shelf for so long because they are so gorgeous. And I just recently have taken them off to be gotten rid of because I can't anymore with them. I can't. I cannot abide them. So that is it for my inaccurate book covers. Comment down below and let me know some covers that you feel do not match their insides. So thank you all for watching. I'll see all you guys soon. Bye!